right back at you one more time. And today we talking about Take Me Away. Take Me Away. If y'all haven't seen the video, make sure y'all go see it. Shout out by the homie Josh Dillard. Um, like, subscribe, leave comments, good or bad, whatever you feel, man. Just, it, just let us know. Well, what does the song mean to you? I mean, personally, when I wrote my verse, I was going through some crazy times. My son was in the hospital. We were in and out of L.A. and out of shows. So my, the, the song to me is just take me away from all the pain and problems that we're dealing with in the world. And uh, we're chasing, as we're chasing everything, you know, we're using all these outlets to take us away from it. That's kind of what my verse is. I know yours is a little different. Um, Mine was, well, not really that crazy for a different, but like, because I wrote the first part of that song, what, three years ago? Three years ago, yeah. Yeah, like three years ago, and then he added his verse probably like, uh, what, almost a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Right before so, we dropped a bad decision mm -hmm. down. So, when I originally wrote it, I was just writing it from the understanding of there's a woman that is playing the idea of fame and everything you think it is, and how it's killing you as you're going for it. And so, in the video, what we portrayed was it was an empty club like the club was uh, didn't no one was really there so as you see like when the video starts the chairs are up and everything like that so the club's actually empty yeah. but when you're chasing empty things like this is the shit that happens like you end up killing yourself chasing empty things so when i'm sitting in there and like the girls are there at points and then they're not there at other points and stuff like that it's like you're just chasing this empty idea of a lifestyle that doesn't really make you happy or you know what I'm saying? It just takes away the pain. You know what I'm saying? Like you're hiding a real life that you're just, just like getting away from by chasing this thing. So at the end, I end up killing myself, which because I'm killing myself doing this, that's why it's me who kills me at the end of the video. And then he ends up like killing himself by taking some pills and drinking in the club. And so you see him inside the club, but then the next time you really see him, he's running to the emergency room. It's crazy how the world feeds off entertainment and they feed off your pain. Like we get all these bottles to go to a club and the more fucked up I get, the more entertained you are, which the more people are excited. It's just a weird system and the life on the road and all the stuff, it starts getting to you after a little bit. And it's kind of like, you know, you want to be taken away from all your stuff and then you end up doing all the stuff that kills you anyway. So it's, yeah, it's a deep video. It's real interesting. It's like, you're like, you're like dodging death by running towards death almost you know what i'm saying like you're dodging pain to run towards death which is another form of pain but it you know it didn't come off that way and so people like it's just crazy because the level of entertainment that we watch like we we almost pay to watch people self-destruct it's sad you know you just seen that that artist uh little pete uh, you know they he was dead all day didn't even know and it's it's you can't be mad at it we just have to look at it and, you know, when is the cycle going to change? Because even back in the days, there was different drugs killing the same type of artist. So it's, it's, a, it's a sad situation. But as long as we keep feeding into the entertainment of people self-destructing, this problem's never going to stop. Yeah, because people think it's almost like... It's weird because when no one's when no one passes away from it, everyone's okay with it and they support it. Yeah. So then like the music being like today, like a lot of music are surrounded by like drugs inside the music and everything like that. It's like people will hype you up and keep going like, man, you're so crazy and wild, you're so cool and stuff like that. But then when someone passes away, it's like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? And then everyone's like taken back from it. Like, why didn't they help him? Well, you should have helped people when they were here and they were a uh, they were asking for the help or even though they may not look like they needed the help because these people get famous. You know what I'm saying? They make so much money so it doesn't look like they need the help. But then we that doesn't have. mean that you don't have your own demons and your own problems. So people need to help people while they're here and like get the help and not be scared to tell them like, man, slow down, calm down. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole understanding of Take Me Away. And it's just crazy that we dropped it at this time when a lot of stuff is going on. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you go watch it. Make sure you subscribe it. And make sure you go get it on Spotify. It's on Apple Music, everything yeah. like that. Take Me Away, Top Flight Empire. So you already know what time that is. And um, other than that, hope y'all had a happy holidays. And Peace. enjoy yourself. Flight gang.